Hello everyone, I'm Jason and today we're making a feast. So it's been about... <laughs> so it's been four months since we've had any friends over because of what's going on. We've been trying to play it safe, but we decided that we're gonna have a few of my friends come over for dinner. They're my friends too, okay? <laughs> Some of our friends over for dinner because it's been such a long time. We want to celebrate that we're expecting. We are making sous vide steak, cream spinach, cream cheesy corn, some focaccia bread, and also a giant pizzuki. We were hoping to get started earlier. We're a little bit short on time, so let's just get into it. Here we have USDA prime ribeye beef. There's some nice marbling on here and we got it from Costco. And Jason's going to cook it with rosemary, thyme, and of course garlic. And we're gonna drop them in here. In our sous vide pot. So, whoops. <laughs> My bad. First thing we're gonna do is get them in these vacuum pack bags. I'm gonna season them liberally with salt. And can you give me garlic powder, actually? <laughs> yeah, that's hella garlic powder. Yeah, it's a thick steak, it's an inch and a half. Can you seal it now? We're gonna seal it twice to make sure none of the juices come out in the sous vide. Right. That is one. And we just gotta do this three more times. Okay, we have our four steaks, our beautiful prime steaks. Okay, just drop it in. Okay. Alright, in the sous vide it goes. I don't have a lid that can cover this pot. And our other sous vide containers are not big enough. So, there you go. Okay, Google, set timer for two hours. Okay, so two, hours. In two hours. Starting now. Bye bye. I'm gonna go shower. Costco bread. I heated this up just for you, Derek. You think? Is it really hot? Yeah, it's hot. Good. It? That's better than asking for God damn. Bread. Yeah, uh, 45 more minutes. I'm just boiling off spinach just for a minute. Onions, garlic, butter, the, salt, and pepper. Uh, and then now I'm adding heavy cream. Yeah, this is like the worst time. Much for the cream spinach. spinach. So our company has we have a military exoskeletons every day. Okay. Going, boss? I think it's going good. Hopefully it tastes good. Yeah. 
This ball, um, but I can I can finish everything. <laughs> not done yet. Last but not least, dessert. A big ass cookie. The dough was chilled overnight. Oh my god, this thing is so heavy. Oh, you can hear it crispy. You want to see a bone? Yeah, you ain't getting none. It's bad, because I feel like I haven't worked out at all either. Like, I feel oh, like I've lost a lot of muscle. How's the taste? It's probably the best like, part of the meal. Yeah. And that's steak with the boys. As you can tell, the dining room has now become Angie's sewing station. I was here first. She's making face masks. One thing I really wanted to try was making steak in a wok. It turned out pretty good. I think it could have used a little bit more time so that the crust could develop a little bit more. I tried it again the next day and it turned out really good. The out the outside. <laughs> so the steak in the wok developed a really good crust on the outside and the inside was still a medium, medium rare, which was perfect. It was also our first time making a pazuki, which turned out really amazing. Only thing was that it was such a big ass cookie that we had so much left over. We had to eat it over the course of the week. I only have a 12 inch cast iron, so that was the only size that we could make it in. But other than that, we hope you enjoyed the video. As always, smash the like button down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you in the next video. Boy, girl, you look frango. I better look pregnant. Holy shit. shit. Yeah, you, got a, you got a baby. Yeah. Holy crap. I didn't realize it was that long since I seen you. Yeah, it's real. <laughs> 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 <laughs>